hey guys oh my gosh so you know focus you know in my last video when i did full face brands i've never tried and i was like i'm sure i had i got a blush palette from patrick ta look what i just freaking found <laughs> it was in my other drawer so i've just been looking for like makeup for today's video which is a full face of first impressions and here he is so i did have one all along i guess lucky that i didn't repurchase it because i'm pretty sure this is the shade that i was trying to buy as well that was sold out um she's that girl I feel like it'll look pretty today maybe, I don't know. I'll just pop it in, you know, my little box of new stuff for us to try today. So how are you all going? How's your morning been? Mine has been absolutely hectic. But here we are, I am so ready just to sit and chill, drink my coffee and do some makeup and just take my mind off everything, okay? Like that's the vibe this morning. I don't have every single step of makeup today, but I've got a lot of new stuff to try. Um, like I have a new brow pomade by Benefit that I still need to try, but I just feel like I don't need that kind of product today. So I might just try out my Patrick Tar product again, because last time I loved it. And I don't think I have like a new powder maybe. Oh, I think I've got some kind of powder, but I don't know. We'll just like wing it, okay? Most of the stuff today is new. These are just the White Exo Beauty hair clips. My dress is from Boohoo, by the way. Um, I'm doing like a photo shoot today, so it's not really something I would normally wear. It's like a baby doll style, but it just needs to look cute, like hair, you know? Earrings, I think, are from Miss Lola a while ago, I think. I think I wore these at my wedding, or like someone, one of my bridesmaids did. Here's the product. This is the Patrick Tar Shaping Wax Tinted. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this. I don't really need too much. Okay, not the aircon needs to be on right now. It's still on here. All right, next up, I do want to try a new prom. Actually, first, my first time trying RM Beauty Calming Face Mist. It looks pretty. So this has got, I think, chamomile in it or something. I think it's just like more skincare, isn't it? I don't think it's like a setting spray per se. It's just like I don't know, just a mist. Mm, that would be so nice before bed after your skincare. It makes me want to go to sleep. <laughs> I don't need that in my life right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> Look at these bags, guys. Oh my gosh. Like, in this last couple weeks, the pregnancy tiredness has really hit me like a ton of bricks. And I actually just can barely function. It is not ideal. We have a Supercharged Dewy Primer by Milani. I really like the blush sticks of this range. Um, it's got ginseng and citrus extracts. And I don't think it comes in a color. Oh, tag. Yeah, it's just like a white primer, so I'm just going to apply this around my face a bit. I feel like my brows are not holding today. Why? Is it because my brush is like filthy? Maybe. Like that really needs a clean. Ugh, that looks nasty. <laughs> okay, this primer smells incredible. Does it smell like the Ola Henriksen one? Maybe? Like citrusy? Oh my god. It smells so good and it feels so moisturizing and I don't know why but I also feel like it kind of tightens like as it dries it feels like quite like but not like gluey or like the milk hydro grip or anything like it's not that full on just a little bit I don't know why this isn't working as good as last time I'm gonna my eyes I want to test this before I put on my foundation um, even though I'm doing my foundation next but it's the same range again from Milani supercharged Brightening under eye tint, and this is in 120 peach. So I'm going to pop this on under my eyes just to see how it goes. Woo, okay, a lot comes out. I'm just kind of like spreading it with the tip. I should have done one eye at a time. <sighs> I've lost my sponge. All right, here we go. I found it. It was on the ground. Where else would it be? Feels like a kind of moisturizer consistency almost. It's not very thick at all. It's just like a tint. Oh, it made such a big difference though. That'd be really nice just for every day too because look at it. It blends into your natural skin. Some correctors, like, it's obvious that you're wearing makeup, you know, whereas this one blended into my natural skin perfectly. So if you didn't actually want to wear makeup but you just wanted to kind of, like, boost your under eye area, I feel like it's almost more like a skincare product in the way it, like, blends into your skin. It's obviously not as full on as some other correctors because it is so lightweight but I feel like it still did such a good job like if you rewind and then come back like it's definitely a big difference I can see it straight away I look way more like alert and way better way better okay I really like this so far for foundation I can't remember if I've ever tried this but I found like heaps that I've never used so don't know we're gonna use it I feel like I used the other one there was the face tape foundation which is this one Tarte and then I think there was another one that I tried wasn't there like two different types I can't remember 
Either way, I cannot remember if I've tried this. I feel like I haven't. By the way, today I just want to do cutesy pink makeup. Not like a pink, pink graphic pink. It's just like a nice wearable pink look. Because I want to match my dress. Okay, I feel like the brows are finally stuck. Woo Full coverage, flawless natural matte finish and infinite likes. What does that mean? This is not even new anymore either. <laughs> look, I've had this in my collection for so long and just never tried it. It's very runny. I thought it'd be real thick. I like runny though sometimes because sometimes, you know, if it's real thick, I just feel like it accentuates texture and stuff like that. I mean, thin ones can do that too, but I really like the way thin ones blend usually. That looks so good. The color looks perfect too. Yay. It's blending out like a dream. This is a XOB sponge. I don't know if I said that. It's just the round, I mean, not round, the teardrop shape one. I like this so far, like a lot. I think I put these away, like, to do a full first impression on, like, a dedicated video, and just never got around to it. This colour matches my XO Beauty Tan Perfect. It's like an olive -y kind of tone. Okay, concealer, I have one here from The Ordinary. Um, this is called the uh, Concealer High Coverage Formula, full coverage, and it looks like this. And the shade I have here is 2.0P Light Medium Pink Undertones. Um, pink undertones under the eyes. I like because once again it gives a little extra like color correction a lot of the time you guys may have seen like the trend on TikTok lately where people are using a blush under their eyes and stuff like that and it's because it literally like kind of color corrects right I'm gonna put some on top too and carve out my brow using a concealer brush to do this a little bit goes a really long way I hope I haven't used too much under my eyes and then I'm just gonna use my sponge again sorry if you can hear my aircon whistling oh my god I think I need to clean it I don't know why it's making so much noise. It's usually quite quiet. So is this full coverage? I would say yes. It's blending out quite nicely. I feel like you can kind of see a little bit of like texture where I've put it. But to be honest, a lot of um, concealers these days kind of show up my texture around my eye area. I think it's just like quite dry. Overall, I think my complexion looks really nice to be honest. So I have my cream Patrick Tarte. She's that girl blush first. Looks like this. So it's under a little case kind of like what um who did that was it natasha denona palettes some other brands have done it too i'm going to use the bum end of my sponge this literally looks perfect with my dress i feel like as well like the lighter color matches the lighter pink and then the darker one matches the dark pink it's a little bit more peachy but almost <gasps> Ooh, i'm putting on quite a lot because we're gonna put powder on top obsessed so pretty oh my gosh i want every every single duo that he does that's so pretty just blending that well it goes very far i love the finish it's glossy and glowy um i'm gonna use the powder soon but i'm just gonna set my face so i'm gonna use my dior powder no powder this is the shade two and then i'm gonna use the shade four to do a little bit of bronzing i'm not gonna apply too much powder today but just want to make sure that everything looks Nice and smooth. Since I'm taking pictures, I want it to last as well. Now, shade four. The Shimmer Tulip brush. The last brush I used was a powder brush. Putting that around where I want to warm up my skin and add some dimension, like I said. That blush looks so pretty just peeking through during Rick-In. I gotta love the way that looks. I'm so impressed with this product so far. Let me know if you guys have tried them and if there's anything I need to try in particular, because I do want to go and buy some, like I said in my last video. Um, I actually only filmed that like yesterday while I'm like filming this one, so that's why I haven't done it yet. Otherwise, you guys be like, um, you said that ages ago. <laughs> I wasn't actually gonna film today, but like I said, like it's just been one of those mornings, and I just wanted to like put on some nice makeup, and obviously I had to do a photo shoot, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna film it, and I'm just gonna sit here and chat to you guys because it'll just help me like decompress. And honestly, nothing even that bad's happened. It's just like a lot, you know? You know, just when everything hits at once. And then Zeus, for some reason, got the shits and like got up on the couch and like got diarrhea on the couch, which was a new one. I guess he's just preparing me for the baby. I don't know, but ooh, crusty. But yeah, like that was just, you know, the cherry on top. And I was just like, dude. Can we just chill, please? All right, I'm gonna quickly just mist a little bit of this, even though it's not a setting spray for makeup necessarily. I just wanna pop some on just to melt everything together. There is another powder we've got here. I'm terrified of it. So this is a universal complexion brightener. 
by Ciate London. It's a no filter and it looks like a highlighter, but it says to apply it all over your face. Like, let me read the instructions here. It says, swirl powder with a fluffy brush and apply over foundation for a radiant finish. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Is that a little bit? I don't think so. I just like dipped my brush a million times. I'm already quite radiant because that powder is like nice. That setting spray gave me a glow, which I love. Love that. I've got hiccups now. Do you guys ever get hiccups when you drink coffee? Or is that just me? I don't know. Just applying a small amount. Yeah, it's kind of like a highlighter, but a little bit more finely milled. And now there's a drum and bass playing. Oh my computer, what is happening? I hate drum and bass. It's just so full on. I know I listen to very full on music, but drum and bass for some reason just gets me. I'm like, okay, no. It's very unkiwi of me, but yeah, I think that's enough glow. Like, we've still got highlighter to try, but I could definitely see how this would be very pretty, especially over like matte foundations, just to give it some life. Oh my god, my boobs are so big right now. While we're here, I just want to pop on the blush before I forget, otherwise I feel like I'm going to forget. It looks so pretty as it is, but I do just want to try out the powder as well. Like, you can definitely just see the peak of blush through. I'm just going to use my Shimmer Tulip brush with the pinky powder. I like how both of the colours have a little bit of you know, diversity, they're not the exact same as each other, so you can create that dimension. Oh my god, the packaging gets so filthy though, look. You can see my fingerprint there, like... <laughs> oh well. The blush is pretty, it's almost like a brightening kind of effect. That's so pretty. Kind of applying it almost on my cheekbone. I feel like I'm gonna put on way too much because the lighting's really bright right now, and I feel like I can't really see what I'm doing, but that's cute. All right, I'm gonna use this palette here. It's called By the Rose by ColourPop. I'll link it down below. I've got a discount code too for ColourPop if you still, like, well, I mean, if you want to use it. I'm gonna take the shade Sunday Soiree, which is a matte with my little uh, fluffy blender brush. I'm gonna pop that through the crease. Nice and simple, guys. Nothing too tricky here. I'm gonna be generous with that and just like buff it out quite a lot. I just realized I did not use a primer. Love that. Then we're going to take the shade that's one shade darker. It's called Effervescent, I think. Is that how you say that word? I don't even know. I'm going to apply that in the deeper part of my crease this time. That's so pigmented, I wasn't expecting that. Oh well. Going back in with the colour we used previously on a more dense brush just to buff that out. Now I'm going to take the shade, maybe Ripe. This one's pretty. Um, and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. This is a very simple eye look today because we do not have the capacity to be doing anything too creative. It's just not a good idea. There's a time and a place and that time is not when I am tired. <laughs> Me looking full lawless for my afternoon nap. <laughs> I have to say the only annoying comment that you get, well not the only but I don't really care about comments that people say during pregnancy and stuff and their opinions and stuff. But the one thing is like when I'm saying like, oh, I'm tired and people are like, oh, just you wait until the baby's here. You don't even know what tired is. It's like, no fucking shit. Just let me have my moment. Like, I'm well aware, <laughs> well aware that when the baby is here, it's going to be struggle street. Okay. I know that. We don't have to think about that. Just give me these last like weeks of just selfishness and these last few weeks of just being able to bitch before I literally am responsible for a whole nother being. Just have me, let me have my moment, okay? Make the lid a little bit brighter. So I'll take just one of the light shades. This is sparkling. These are so powdery. They're beautiful, but whew, they go everywhere. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the matte shade, like the light matte one. This is called Picnic Basket. And I'm going to apply that to my brow bone and then use my blender brush just to sweep over that. I'm also going to put that, because it's so brightening, on the inner corner. Literally not being careful where I put it, because once we've got it laid down like that, going back in with that blend brush again, and then just mush it in there, like that. And then we'll take Sunday Soiree again, and just apply a bit of that underneath, just to frame the eyes. I do have pink eyeliner I was going to use, but I think we'll just go black. We've got this quick and easy lifeliner. I feel like this is just the same as the big one, isn't it? Is it always called Quick and Easy? I mean, let's just use it anyway. Huda Beauty. Little travel size, cute little cutie boy. And oh, I'm gonna have to do this slightly off camera because I'm leaning on my elbow. 
we can do this. I feel like it's kind of dry. <laughs> I like the applicator, but I don't know if it's because it's like new and I just need to like work it up, you know? It's like quite dry. I give up. Where's one I have used in a while? How about this? My epic wear waterproof next one. I'm gonna use this in a little bit. Oh wait, no, that's purple. <laughs> Natasha Denona Macro Blade Eyeliner. Just squirt on me. Oh my god, did it go on my dress? That'd be about right. See, so look how inky that one is in comparison. So much better. Oh my god, one of my eyeliners going like out and then one's going up. Now we're gonna have to do big lashes to like pretend like it's even. Woo, that's terrible eyeliner. Might just have to go in with some concealer on a little brush to try and like sharpen that because that's pretty terrible. <laughs> Okay, now for mascara. I purchased this one because I saw someone on TikTok raving about it. So, it's the Stack Mascara. And I believe when you check out, you choose which, like, wand you want, right? Because there's, like, a bigger, thicker wand. And then there is a, another one. I can't remember. So, I've got the micro brush one and the mega brush one. Yeah, different brushes, same formula. So, I feel like I'll just try one at first. Because what if I hate the formula, then I've opened both. Do you know what I mean? So this is how it looks. And yeah, this is just in black. Micro brush. See, that brush isn't micro. To me, micro is like a tiny brush. I'm happy with this brush, though. I like the way that looks. So let's pop it on. You don't often hear people raving about MAC mascaras, but on TikTok, people were like going crazy for this. So I'll do a couple of coats, I guess. Like, you know me, I like ones that work well on the first coat. So let me just chuck this on and I will have an inspection. It's hard because I've got such dramatic liner on now. That's quite pretty and with one coat. Not like my favorite in the world, but it's still like quite noticeable. Once again, without that huge eyeliner, it'd be a lot easier. On to the other side is well, while we wait for that first coat to dry. Also, I feel like if I kind of like a mascara at first, I like to keep it and try it more because sometimes you love them after they've been open for a little bit and then sometimes it's the opposite like sometimes you love it at first and then once it's been open for like a week you're like okay no this is shit because the formula slightly like changes as it dries out a little bit yeah i think i like that Look, that's quite thick for one coat i'm not mad i do need to fix this eyeliner though let's do coat number two I like the smell of it. Some mascaras smell so good. They're not scented, they just smell good by default. Okay, yeah, I think I like this mascara. I don't know if you can see very well, but it's super thickening. I feel like it would look really good with no eyeliner, you know? I'll pop some on the bottom lashes too. Yay, it's been a while. It's been a while. Since I found a mascara that I'm like excited about. It's quite wet, it kind of does go everywhere. This has potential to be a favorite if it like starts to dry out a little bit too because I love those ones that kind of go like clayish. It's so black too. Freaking black. Okay. Yeah, I'm not mad. But I do think I still need falsies because the mascara, I mean, <laughs> the eyeliner is so wonky. I'm going to use some random ABH Novena ones. These look really pretty. These are called Georgina and they remind me a lot of my Exo Beauty foaming lashes that I really love as well. Mixed with like the stacked ones. Are these gonna be too much? Possibly, but here's the before. And after I trim them a decent amount to try and like focus them on that outer half, well, like outer three quarters, I guess. And I think that was good and a good idea so you can still see the eyeshadow, of course. And I was just reading about the mascara. It was like, you can just keep stacking it. I don't know. So yes, okay, I need some brow gel. So I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Bidley Hills Espresso one that I love, just for color. Cause they look a little bit dull with all the powders and things that have probably flung into them and that'll just bring some life back into them <laughs> i have this highlighter here this is the oh wait this is a finishing powder liquid to baked finishing powder after setting powder or on bare skin blend all over the face so this is like the same as the other product that i used uh, okay well we won't use that i have a liquid highlighter is that going to be a disaster this is over as well precision lasting at glow drops in presley I just got these the other day. I'm just gonna use my finger. I've squared some out on my hand. 
I feel like we don't need a whole lot of highlighter because everything's quite glowy. Oh, that's pretty. It's so light. It feels like water. Usually these like liquid highlighters feel quite like creamy. Whereas this literally feels like water, like so lightweight, which I really like because I feel like it's not going to disrupt my powders underneath so much. Yeah, that looks really good. I'm actually just going to take a brush because it's so lightweight. I feel like you could just use a brush to like buff it in. Yeah, I feel very pretty. I'm stoked. Now I want a pinkish lip. I have this Birdie Lip Pencil by Colourpop. Is this going to be way too light though? I don't know, it's really pretty actually. Oh, my eyes are like stinging ever since I put on these lashes. I don't know why. They keep randomly watering. I have this um, Lippy Sticks by Colourpop. This is in the shade Cherry Bomb. I'm going to put some of this on. And like it's a bit darker than the lip pencil so I'm really blending that in. And then just a touch of gloss. So this is the So Glassy new by Colourpop in Epiphany. Just a small amount in the centre. Definitely is so glossy. And then one more setting spray of my REM Beauty. I actually got sent a lot of REM Beauty stuff. And I don't know why but it just doesn't really catch my eye. But I'm keen to try it so if you guys want to see me try it in a video let me know. Because maybe like when I actually play with it I'll like it more. I don't know. Have you guys tried it before? What do you think? Hair clips out. Right, what do we think team? I'm actually very happy with how my makeup's turned out. Um, I definitely feel a bit better now. I feel a bit calmer. I feel like we just needed this like hour and a half just to like just focus on makeup. <laughs> just like block out the rest and it's definitely helped. So I'm going to go take some pictures of myself now. Love that for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if there's any new products you want me to try. Um, I did pick up some of the new like Charlotte Tilbury stuff. And oh my gosh, she's bringing out a cream bronzer. I'm so excited for that. Like I'm genuinely very excited. So cannot wait for that. But yeah, other than that, I guess I'll just talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, which I'm maybe doing a first impression on this. I really want to try it. The light reflecting foundation. Anyways, bye. <laughs>